Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a makeup and skincare empties video. I have so much stuff here. <laughs> it's kind of overwhelming, but I'm going to quickly run through everything, just give you a little review and let you know if I will repurchase the product or not. So if you want to see what products I have been loving and some that I have been hating, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to start out with some skincare that I have been obsessed with, okay? First of all is the Youth to the People Kale Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. Mm. So I have been using this moisturizer in the mornings. It is super lightweight, absorbs really quickly, which I love because I put makeup on every day for work, so I'm on a bit of a time limit. And it moisturizes my skin like nothing I've ever used before. My skin never feels dry afterwards. It just feels so plump and fresh. I've literally gone through two of these and I've got another one in the cupboard that I'm about to open. <laughs> I actually recommend following the Youth to the People Instagram and watching their Insta stories from time to time because they're always posting information about their skincare and they ask a lot of questions and see what you want to know about their skincare and then they go ahead and answer it. It's really, really informative and I've really come to love the brand. Next, I have two serums here. First is the U Spa Pure C Complex Serum with Vitamin C. And then I have the Bay Eco Green Tea Multi Action Serum. I found that both of these products worked really well for me. My skin was just really clear when I was using them. I also found that they worked well at fading my pigmentation. So if I did get a new pimple, the mark left from that wouldn't be there for long. If I had to pick one, I would probably go for the Bay Eco. This is more of a gel consistency, whereas this one was more creamy. So I just prefer the gel as I find it's a bit more lightweight. And again, it absorbs into my skin really quickly. So I can go ahead with any other products I'm going to put on or makeup. Next, I have two products from the skincare brand called Be Fresh. The first one is the Tea Cleanser. And the next one is a sample of the Seed Face Oil. Now, I didn't really love either of these. The oil, I found it was very hydrating and it worked well in that sense, but it has a really strong smell. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I just, I just don't like it. And then the cleanser, this is one that turns into a, a foam and I just don't like those kinds of cleansers. I tried using it at night and I found it just didn't feel like my skin was clean afterwards. So I started using it in the mornings as a gentle cleanser, but again, I just didn't really like the foam and I found I had to use a lot of product so that my face would feel clean. So these two, unfortunately, I won't be picking up again. Next, I have the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. Now this is an absolute staple in my skincare routine and I use it every single night. So this is a salicylic acid and for me, the thing it does the most is reduces my texture. If I don't use this for a couple of days, I can feel blackheads forming, my skin just feels rough. But once I start using this again, all of that is gone and my skin is so smooth. I've already got another one of these in my bathroom that I am currently using and I absolutely recommend this if you have textured skin. My sister actually has a lot of texture to her skin. So I got her onto this and a cleanser by Paula's Choice and she said within a couple of days she could feel a major difference in her skin. She was actually shocked. I was like, mm -hmm. it's so good. Next, I have two makeup removers. I have the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm and the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. These are both really good, but I think if I had to choose one, I would go the Clinique because it's better value for money. This is just a little sample size, but the big tub I think is around $55, whereas this was like 70 something. I'm not going to be repurchasing either of these though because I am using my Bisu makeup removing cloths so I don't need any product to actually remove my makeup. But as I said, if I was going to choose one, I would go with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. It's a really nice consistency, it just melts your makeup away and it doesn't sting or irritate the skin at all. And then quickly I have some masks by Garnier. This is the Hydro Balm Tissue Mask, the Ultra Hydrating Rejuvenating Mask, Really, really good if your skin just needs an 
extra mm, of hydration. I absolutely love the Garnier masks. And then this morning I tried out one of their new Hydro Bomb eye tissue masks and oh, this was so good. So this one contains orange extract and hyaluronic acid and it just felt so nice under my eyes. The patches stayed in place. Nothing worse than when you use an eye mask and the patches slide down your face. And it had a really nice cooling effect. So I didn't put it in the fridge, it was just in my room temperature room and it still left a really nice cooling sensation under the eyes which made it feel really fresh. Now moving on to makeup. Firstly, I have a foundation and this is the Maybelline Superstay in the shade 110 Porcelain. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You would have heard me rave about this literally in every single video. It is so long lasting, super full coverage and this shade is perfect for fair skin. Next, I have two concealers by Makeup Revolution. They are the Conceal and Define. I have the shade C1 and C0.5. Now, I really, really like these concealers. They're full coverage, they last all day, they don't crease, they work really well. But the shades, they're just, they're just a bit off for me. So C1 is fair, but if I use it under my eyes, it doesn't really brighten. It's just going to conceal. Whereas C0.5 is super fair, but it is so pink toned. My ultimate wish would be if they come out with C1, which has more of a neutral undertone, but just lighter. These concealers only come with four grams of product, so it's not a lot, but I'm pretty sure they only retail for like $7. So if you want to try out a drugstore full coverage concealer, I definitely recommend these ones, and I do have more in my collection. Next, I have two of the Models Prefer... What is this called? Next, I have two of the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Loose Powders. Oh, so good. Anna Elaine got me onto these. The drugstore really doesn't have a lot of super fair options when it comes to powders and this is so fair, it sets your makeup in place all day and it leaves a really nice kind of glowy look to the skin. Like it's not a really super matte powder which I absolutely love. I use my beauty blender to apply this under my eyes and then I go in with a brush to lightly apply it to the rest of my face to set my foundation. And I just absolutely love it. It retails for, I think, $17 full price, but you can always get it on sale because Priceline is always having sales. Next, I finally used up my Astralis Matchmaker Lightning Drops. These are a lifesaver. Being so fair, it's hard to get foundations that match, so these really come in handy. They don't change the formula of the foundation at all. They just simply lighten it, which is what I'm here for. The dropper on it isn't very good, like it doesn't actually pick up product and drop it out nicely. It's quite messy and I just kind of have to like flick it out, but hey, it's a good product and that's all that matters. On to eyebrows. I have one of the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gels. This, it's freaking amazing. It's got a really, really tiny wand, which y'all should know I love by now because I like to be nice and precise. You can definitely tell that it gives your brows a lot of volume and just makes them look more hairy, which is what I need. I've already got another one of these in my cl- did you see that bug? As I was saying, I already have a, another one of those in my collection. And then I have two eyebrow pencils. First is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and this is in the shade Caramel. Now, I've had this for quite a while, and look, it is a really good product, but I feel like there are so many drugstore options for this kind of thin pencil, you know? I really did like it though and it was a good shade for me. If I ever want to splurge, I will definitely pick it up again. But my new favorite brow pencil is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade Blonde. All right, I've already got another one here, so let me show you what it looks like. Seriously, this bug, get out of here. So it's kind of got a diamond shape. There we go applicator. Firstly, the color is a perfect match. I really like a cooler toned brow rather than going for that red auburn kind of shade. So this is perfect. Even though the shape of it looks a little bit like, mm, it's actually really easy to apply and you can be really precise. The formula is what sells me though. It's not 
super dry where you can't get anything out but it's not super waxy where it's like whoa too much product it is the perfect in between and oh I just I love it I love it I've got one in my drawer that I'm currently using and I've also got another one in my backup basket <laughs> Only a few things to go, I promise. Next is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Nude Whisper. This is the perfect nude liner for me. I'm wearing the Astralis Girl Boss lipstick in the shade Empower, and this is the color of this lip liner. Oh my god, I just love it. It's a wind up, oh, it is a retractable lip liner, so you don't have to sharpen it, which I really love. The head is super small, so you can be really precise when drawing out your lip line. It's a really nice creamy formula, but not too creamy that it bleeds. I really, really love it, and again, already got my back up. Next, I have the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go Setting Spray. If you've watched any of my other empty videos, you would know I absolutely love this. It is my favorite setting spray of all time, and it's affordable. It has a really nice cucumber scent. It feels really fresh when you apply it and it keeps your makeup in place all day. And it also does a really good job at settling the powders into your skin. So I really, really love it and highly recommend. And then lastly, that's right. Lastly, I have some lashes and some lash glue from House of Lashes. The lash glue I really liked. It doesn't take long to get tacky and it keeps your lashes in place. It is so good. They do have a white and a black. I prefer the white because it dries clear and if you do make a mistake, it's not going to leave a mark on your eye, in your eyeshadow. And then these lashes here are the Allura Light. Oh, I absolutely love them. They are quite dramatic, so they're not your everyday lash. Here is a close-up of what they look like. As you can see, they're shorter in the front and get longer towards the end. And they are just so beautiful and full and they really open up my eyes. They do have a thicker band, but I find that it's not stiff at all. You can really move it around and get it to sit on your eyes perfectly. And they don't feel heavy, which I love. Well, if you're used to wearing lashes, they don't feel heavy. The only reason I have to say goodbye to these ones is because I was too rough when I was ripping them off and I like ripped it in half. But I will definitely be picking up another pair of these, maybe a few pairs, because ooh, I just love them. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching today and got something out of hearing my reviews on all of these products. If you use any of these products, let me know what your thoughts are down below because I love knowing what you think. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.